Cloud Ready and the Xerprise platform has always had synthetics uh, largely uh, for SaaS, and that's been our specialty. Um, you know, it's really as simple as that if you're only using real user monitoring, you're only going to know about a problem when it impacts a user. If you're only using synthetic, then it's you, you might just miss coverage. And so by combining uh, synthetics plus real user monitoring, you get the best of both worlds. You want to know about problems before they impact your organization. Um, you want to be able to benchmark your apps and network, you know, over historical periods of time. Also, synthetics give you like a real good solid baseline, a monotonic uh, set of metrics, uh, you know, 24 seven, you can make a change to your network and you don't have to wait for a user to be impacted or to ask that user if it's gotten better or worse. You can use synthetics to find that out. And on the next slide, you'll see that when it comes to real user monitoring, what we've introduced in 2020 um, is uh, the ability to get coverage if you have users that are in disparate locations, uh, coverage for your SaaS apps, coverage for your network, coverage for your, end, uh, your endpoints, your desktops. So we collect uh, you know, real-time metrics across all these devices, uh, as well as use a browser extension that can be deployed uh, for, via the Chrome or, or Microsoft Edge web store uh, to examine uh, you know, a set, uh, only a, a finite, a concrete set of URLs and uh, filters that you put in. And we can collect that data and, and analyze it to make sure that you are not missing uh, you know, poor experience for pockets of users or poor experience for users that might be in, in different locations. And on the next slide, just to recap, like why you would use these in different locations or for different use cases, synthetics are for proactive HQ, centralized synthetic monitoring, uh, any app, uh, any SaaS platform, whereas Xprize Service Watch Browser is perfect for troubleshooting network and SaaS applications from a branch office, work from home users, mobile users, no matter where they are. Uh, and Service Watch Desktop is really for diagnosing the full set of, um, you know, Wi-Fi signals, um, uh, you know, ISPs, hop by hop data for every app that they might be using, um, and and you know, for the for the full set of uh, thick client apps and desktop experience. I think that's back to Andrew. Yeah. And just quickly to reiterate this too, I mean, we see this as um, a very complementary capabilities, right? The uh, the real user, you know, monitoring capabilities can often help with, you know, doing root cause analysis because, you know, there might be things that are outside of, um, you, you know, your purview and your, and your testing that you can help find with um, real user monitoring faster MTTR um, overall and enables that qualitative data ingestion because you have, um, you know, the, the resident on the, on the end user device, you're looking at this in real time. So you can verify some of those things. And on the synthetic, it's exactly what Jason was mentioning, which is, you know, ability to be much more proactive as far as incidents that might uh, crop up. And I would also say that um, it can aid in that change management. So, you know, ahead of time, if I'm going to push out, um, you know, a patch or something like that, um, that I know that this is exactly how it's going to impact the environment. And I can prepare for that um, in advance or make changes so that those disruptions don't happen. So I'd agree that both of these capabilities are very important. Mm -hmm.